It's time now to prepare the 8 gauge wire to be mounted to the vehicle battery and then routed back to the bed of the truck. Um, I have 8 gauge wire, I have some ring terminals, and I had to purchase a, uh, a special crimper and a wire cutter. This crimper can be adjustable between 10 gauge and 0 gauge wire. So I have it set now for 8 gauge. And we have some heat shrink. We're going to put over the ends of the wire. And then we have our ring terminal. We're going to put the ring terminal on. And then this crimper will do a hex crimp on the wire. So let me organize this a little bit better so I can get a good crimp and then I'll show you how we're going to crimp the wires. To make this a little easier I mounted the wire into a vise and put the ring terminal on. This way I can uh, I can hold onto the wire. I don't want this uh, ring terminal slipping up. I want it to get a complete crimp on the wire. So we'll use the uh, vise here. We'll get it in. I have it set, the jaw is set to 10 millimeter, which according to the directions is uh, the right size for uh, 8 gauge wire. I'll put the link of these crimpers and the cutters in the description section of this video. Okay, it does a pretty nice crimp. It does a hex crimp. And uh, now what we can do, let's do the other one, and then we'll heat shrink the uh, ends around the fitting here. Let's get the positive wire now. Put it in the vise. Make sure you twist the strands of the wire. You don't want any frayed wires. Let me move this up a little bit. And let's go ahead and put the crimp on, or the ring terminal on. And let's do the crimp now. Nice. It does a nice crimp. Let's go ahead and get the heat gun and we'll go ahead and put the uh, heat shrink up over the end. And then we can go ahead and shrink the heat shrink down. Let's get the vise out of the way. Just keep on rotating the wire to make sure you get that heat shrink all the way around. There's the one.
Let's get the positive now. Now what we're going to do is I have some some plastic split sheathing here and we're going to run both uh, positive and negative wires through the sheathing. Then we can go out to the vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and route it uh, from the battery of the vehicle back to the uh, truck bed and then we'll route that into the truck bed. I'm probably going to have to drill a half inch hole to run this sheathing through. Uh, I'll take the camera out and we'll, uh, I'll show you how I'm going to, to uh, wire this in and route it through the truck bed. So let's head out to the truck. I have the wire harness spaced properly. I have it temporarily taped to the battery handle here. I don't want to short anything out when I'm routing wires. So we have the positive lead near the positive terminal. We have the negative lead near the negative terminal. I've routed the sheathed flexible bundle down through the bottom of the truck and on that black sheathing I've taped with electrical tape every 12 inches so the wires won't pop out of the plastic sheathing. Now we're going to go underneath the truck and route that and, and what we're going to do is use some zip ties to fasten the uh, wire harness to the underside of the truck bed and then we'll route that, that wire back to the bottom of the truck bed and we'll drill a hole up into the truck bed near the, the front end and then we'll run the wire harness up through there. Then we'll wire in a uh, eight gauge uh, quick disconnect wiring harness uh, to the or to the wiring harness. So let's get underneath the truck and do that. As you can see, here is the wire harness I just ran. Here's the wire harness that provides the uh, two trigger wires for the DC DC converter. I wired this uh, ages ago, and now I'm just routing the new wire bundle right next to it so I'm just going to keep on working my way down and zip tie this up I have the hole drilled in the bed I had to there's a beam across here so I, I had to move the hole away from this beam to get to be able to drill up through the bed but I've measured my bumpers on the camper and I have plenty of room to clear the bumpers so this is the cabling for the uh, goes directly to the DC to DC converter the other cable is for the trigger wire and low current wire on the DC to DC converter so we are all wired now in the vehicle now uh, let's uh, we'll go inside the camper and we will get everything wired up in there I'm not going to hitch up the uh, the uh, terminals to the vehicle's battery just yet because I don't want to short anything out so when we get ready to do that I'll show you what the how the final install looks after we hitch everything up <laughs> 